In the heart of the Black Hills of South Dakota, a colossal monument stands as a testament to American history and ambition. Mount Rushmore, with its towering granite faces of four iconic presidents, has captivated generations with its grandeur and artistry. But behind this iconic image lies a story of bold vision, relentless determination, and the controversial intertwining of human ambition and natural wonder. It all began with a simple desire to attract tourists to the rugged beauty of South Dakota. Doan Robinson, a state historian, conceived the idea of carving colossal figures into the Black Hills. He envisioned figures of Western heroes hoping to draw visitors to his beloved state. Robinson reached out to Gutzon Borglum, a renowned sculptor already known for his work on the colossal Confederate Memorial at Stone Mountain, Georgia. Borglum, however, saw an opportunity to create something even more profound, a lasting tribute to American history. Borglum proposed a shift in focus, suggesting instead the faces of four presidents who embodied the nation's founding principles and growth. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. His vision resonated with a nation grappling with the aftermath of World War I and yearning for symbols of unity and strength. Thus, the stage was set for a monumental undertaking, one that would forever alter the landscape of the Black Hills and spark debate about art, history, and the very soul of America. Transforming a mountain into a colossal sculpture demanded not just artistic vision, but also unprecedented feats of engineering. The sheer scale of Mount Rushmore presented a unique set of challenges, requiring innovative solutions and a touch of audacity. Dynamite, the tool of miners and road builders, became Borglum's instrument of choice. Rather than a crude instrument of destruction, dynamite in the hands of skilled powder men became a precision tool. Through a meticulous process known as honeycombing, carefully placed charges were used to blast away layers of granite with remarkable accuracy. Over 90% of the 450,000 tons of rock removed from the mountain was displaced by dynamite, shaping the rough contours of the presidential faces. To ensure the accuracy of the colossal portraits, Borglum employed an ingenious system called the pointing machine. This device, based on an ancient Greek surveying technique, allowed workers to translate Borglum's smaller scale models onto the mountainside with remarkable precision. Measurements were taken from a fixed reference point on the mountaintop, and using a system of plumb bobs and steel cables, workers could pinpoint the exact location for drilling and blasting. This delicate dance between brute force and meticulous calculation played out over 14 years, a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of a grand vision. Behind the awe-inspiring facade of Mount Rushmore, lies a story of human toil, dedication, and the inherent tensions between progress and preservation. Over 400 men and women, many from the surrounding communities, braved harsh weather, dizzying heights, and the ever-present danger of falling debris to bring Borglum's vision to life. These workers were a diverse group, including miners, drillers, blacksmiths, and carvers, each playing a crucial role in this unprecedented undertaking. They were lowered down the face of the mountain on ropes and swung across the granite face in precarious bosun chairs. The work was demanding and dangerous, yet they persevered, driven by a sense of purpose and the allure of being part of something truly extraordinary. Safety was paramount, and remarkably despite the inherent risks, no lives were lost during the carving of Mount Rushmore. However, the construction of Mount Rushmore came at a cost. The Black Hills were not simply a geological wonder, they held profound spiritual significance for the Lakota Sioux, who considered the area sacred. The carving of Mount Rushmore on land that had been taken from them, under a broken treaty remains a point of contention, a stark reminder of the complex and often painful history of westward expansion. The monument stands as a testament to the human spirit's capacity for both great achievement and disregard. It is a reminder that even as we celebrate the accomplishments of the past, we must also acknowledge the complexities and injustices that often accompanied them. Today, Mount Rushmore stands as a symbol of American ambition, ingenuity, and the enduring power of monumental art. It attracts millions of visitors each year, drawn to its grandeur and the stories it embodies. Yet, its legacy remains complex, a reflection of the very nation it seeks to represent. The four presidents carved into the mountainside represent different facets of American identity. Washington, the founding father, Jefferson, the champion of liberty, Roosevelt, the expansionist, and Lincoln, the savior of the Union. 
Mount Rushmore's presence on land sacred to the Lakota Sioux serves as a constant reminder of the displacement and broken promises that marked westward expansion. The monument stands as a symbol of both national pride and a history marked by conquest and dispossession. As we reflect on Mount Rushmore's legacy, we are reminded that history is rarely simple or one-sided. It is a tapestry woven from triumphs and tragedies, from moments of unity and periods of profound division. Mount Rushmore, in all its grandeur and controversy, challenges us to confront this complexity, to acknowledge both the light and shadow of the American story. And so, the mountain stands, a silent sentinel overlooking the vast expanse of the American West, a testament to the enduring power of human ambition and a poignant reminder of the complexities that shape our understanding of the past.